So there's something I've wanted to share with you guys for a while, but I, I haven't really known how to say it without kind of sounding like I'm bragging, but um, I've been in a Dora movie, as in Dora the Explorer. And if you don't believe me, here's the proof. Like I, I was honestly so young, like I barely even remembered filming this, but I did. So this Dora movie, whose birthday is it? was a birthday gift for me when I was pretty little. I just think it's very silly, so I thought we could go through it together. And I barely even remember like what this movie is about. So we're gonna find out. So like just the intro is so nostalgic to me. Like I'm pretty sure all the Dora episodes started off like this. And like little me, like I'm in it. Little me just walking around is so adorable. I can't believe that I'm a part of the DCU. Dora cinematic universe. So very first thing in the movie, Dora and Boots introduce themselves and they point out the big balloon that's floating in the sky. Do you see something in the sky? Don't we? A balloon! The first day balloon! And Dora literally addresses me by name. I'm sure not a lot of you can say that. Although now that I'm looking at it more closely, yeah, she's saying my name but she's really not saying my name. <laughs> like, look at that. That was at least like five or more syllables. It's, it's weird. I don't know. I don't know why. But the balloon just happens to have um, a my face on it. And they mention all the things that are in the balloon. Inside the birthday balloon, there are presents and candy and cake and streamers and goodie bags. And I guess no one knows whose birthday it is. But Dora, whose birthday is Oh, uh, that does make sense. The movie is literally called Whose Birthday Is It? But I'm supposed to go along with it. Like just sit here and pretend like I don't know. It's my own birthday. Seems a little pointless to me, but you know, let's keep going. So Dora and Boots don't know where the birthday balloon is going. So they decide to consult the map. Who do we ask for help when we don't know which way to go? So we, the map, the map. Um, but they ask us to check the map. Um, must I do everything myself? Will you check the map to find out where the birthday balloon is going? You have to say map. Map. Louder. Map. 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 <laughs> I'm the map. Okay, I guess that worked. So the map reveals to us that we gotta go to Play Park which has to be the most redundant name for a park that there ever has been. It's like calling a lake Swim Lake or like naming a school Learning School or like calling my YouTube channel the best channel ever. Like it's so obvious it doesn't even need to be said. So then Map is describing how to get to Play Park and it points out that we have to go over Cupcake Mountain and Map is definitely feeling some sort of way about that cake. <laughs> Go over Cupcake Mountain! Mm. So after Cupcake Mountain, we have to pass through Sneezing Snake Lake, and then we'll get to the park. Mountain, lake, play park! Say it with me! Mountain, Mountain lake, play park! Lake. Mountain, lake, play park! Mountain, lake, play park! Mountain, lake, play park. Mountain, lake, play park. Mountain, lake, play park. We got a long journey of three locations ahead of us, so let's get going. They start heading to Cupcake Mountain and run into Tico, who has one of those little party noisemaker things. So they assume, oh, maybe it's Tico's birthday, but alas, it is not. So Tico joins their journey and they arrive at Cupcake Mountain. Uh, luckily, there's a whole elevator system that'll get them over the mountain, pretty convenient. And I guess this elevator is voice activated, pretty advanced technology here. Can you say, vamos, Zoe? Vamos. Say, vamos. Vamos. So I'm kind of forgetting um, where they need to go next. Why can't I remember? Um, it's lake. the mountain. It's the lake. play park. Lake. Uh, they need to go to Sneezing Snake Lake. On the way to the lake, they run into another friend, Issa the Iguana. 
But guess what? It's not even Issa's birthday. So now I really don't know whose birthday it could be. So Dora and the gang arrive at the lake and this is actually such a coincidence, but a boat pulls up to the dock with the exact number of seats for Dora and her friends. You see anything we can use to get across Sneezing Snake Lake, Zoe? Kids these days don't have to work for anything. So we have to help Dora navigate around these sneezing snakes. Of course, can't just enjoy a nice boat ride to myself. I guess I have to help this uh, seven, eight year old girl drive a boat. But and let me just say, let this. Me just say this. The scene of us helping Dora navigate through the lake is exactly what I picture when I think of those um, those car guys with the driving simulator with the wheel and stuff. Is there a difference? Let me know. <laughs> anyway, since we have such great navigational skills, we make it across the lake. So our next location is, uh... oh, I can't remember. Um... Oh, it's the one with the redundant name. Um, Sand Beach? No. Um, Clothes Mall. Alcohol Bar. Yo, what? In a kid's no, I, I know, be in a I know. That one was dumb. <laughs> if only there was a chant to remember the places we're supposed to be going to. Mountain, lake, play park. Mountain, lake, play park. Mountain, lake, play park. It's play park. I, I just remembered, um, we don't have to talk about why. So Play Park is within eyesight. They're finally getting so close to figuring out whose birthday it is. Then Benny the Bull's annoying ass shows up on his stupid little bike. <laughs> if you don't know, I clearly have a dislike towards Benny. Um, just listen to him talk. Nope, it's not my birthday. Bro sounds like dream guest on my podcast. <laughs> dream guest on my podcast? <laughs> and guess what? It's not Benny's birthday either. So whose who's freaking birth are we about to celebrate? And uh, Benny has a pretty iconic line here. I want to eat some cake! Then a big red chicken named Big Red Chicken, um, for some reason dressed in Wonka cosplay, conveniently gives them a ride to the top. Drops Dora and friends off, and it's about to be revealed whose birthday it is. Okay, put your guesses down in the comments below. Um, I'm thinking uh, um, Boots, maybe? Oh, no, no. They already said it wasn't Boots. Um, it's not Dora, Map, Issa, Tico, Jojo. I mean, Benny, um, the chicken. Who could it be? Who, who else is in the DCU? Um, <gasps> Diego? Is Diego gonna make a cameo in this movie? Oh my gosh, that'd be awesome. I'd love that. <laughs> okay, let's see who it is. Whose birthday is it? Hold on. Is that little five-year-old me? I did not sign off on this. Say, it's time for a party! Woohoo, it's time for a party! That cake sure looks yummy! Let's all sing happy birthday to Zoe! This is so great, you guys. I made it to my own party. So perfect. So yeah, um, they basically all sing happy birthday to me and then the party's over. I gotta say, this was a great movie. So glad I could watch it again after all these years. The thing I just can't shake is why doesn't Dora say my name correctly? Her mouth is always moving so long like after she finishes saying my name. Zoe, 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 Zoe. It's like, no, no, that can't be. No. This movie wasn't just made for me? You're telling me thousands of other kids got to be in this exact same Dora movie and they didn't change anything except for the face and the name of the kid? I'm out. Map! <laughs> Map! <laughs> <laughs>